Ruthie, and today we are going to be doing a Dollar Tree haul. A Dollar Tree Christmas haul. Um, if you guys are subscribers, you guys will know I cut my hair. I literally had blonde and then pink, and then I just chopped it all off and went back dark. So, yeah, that's why my hair looks like this. My hair is a little crazy right now, but yeah, so um, I want to show a Dollar Tree haul. So, you guys know Christmas time, the Dollar Tree is popping. If you guys don't go to the Dollar Tree for Christmas time, you guys are seriously missing out. There's so many good deals and good items at the Dollar Tree. And I was so excited for some of the stuff that I found this year. I'm a little disappointed. So when I used to live back in New England, the Dollar Tree was so good. Um, and then when I lived in New Mexico for a little bit, it was so good. And then for whatever reason, I feel like Colorado, the Dollar Trees aren't that great. Um, I went to two different Dollar Trees for all this stuff. I'm not finding like all the really good things that I've seen some other YouTubers find, which I'm a little disappointed, but whatever it is what it is but i just want to show you guys kind of what i have now um i have two big bags full um so the first thing i got was of course this really pretty mug i actually have coffee in it right now but it just looks like this it says let it stow and it's just like a cup of hot chocolate and then like maybe like a cup of coffee or something a little candy cane and it's just so cute our pretty cheap tumbler is not going to be something that lasts you forever but let me tell you my Dollar Tree cups that are like this, I have, I get them every year, and I still have them every year. I think there was one year that I ended up having to toss it after the season, and I forget the reason why. I, I honestly don't remember. I think, like, my husband took it to work or something. I think I, like, lost it. I forget, but it was, like, one year that I tossed it. But I typically keep them. Oh, that's what it was. This thing, like, this piece right here, um like kind of got loose because I do put it in the dishwasher. I don't think it's dishwasher safe. Not recommended for using the microwave or dishwasher. I still put mine in the dishwasher and it lasts. But like I said, that one year, this rubber piece ended up getting loose. Um, so I get these every year and I think they're so stinking cute. Um, my little one picked this out this year. So this will be my mug of choice for the whole season. I think it's just so pretty. So the next thing I found was this Merry Christmas bucket. It looks so cute. It is like a pretty cheap plastic, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, but it's just so pretty and it's a good size bucket. Um, so it looks like this. I'm thinking I usually love to put, I don't know, anyone else like this, tell me. But I usually love to put something on my toilet. I like to put like something on my toilet, whether it's like a bucket or a plate or something. I don't know if anyone else is like this. I feel like toilets are so yucky looking, but when you put something on it, it just makes it look more like alive. Um, so I think I'm gonna put this on my toilet seat, uh, maybe with like a tree and then, I don't know, we'll see. Um, I'm thinking about maybe possibly decorating like a toilet paper into like a present and then putting it in it. We'll see. Um, I will show you guys what I end up doing with this. If not, I may also just put this like next to a hot cocoa bar. If you guys don't want, and if you guys wanted to not say Merry Christmas, you can flip it onto the other side and put another decal. And I think if you wanted to, you could probably take some acetone and like get rid of this altogether. Um, you could paint the bucket, you could spray paint the bucket. Um, I think the red was really pretty for Christmas time. I'll see what it looks like with the Merry Christmas, but I may possibly try taking this out and maybe put like a Ray Dunn style on here. We'll see. Something that I will always get at the Dollar Tree because it's a dollar and it's the gift boxes. So it's a set of three and these are the larger ones, right? Yeah, this is a three piece and it's the larger one. So it's sets of three. This one is the penguin and then on the side it's like a really cute um, penguin of Santa. It looks like this. And then I also got this set of three. Um, oh, that one doesn't have it. So that's weird. So I was gonna say, typically they show you on here what the boxes look like, but that one doesn't. But this one does. So I got this set too, and it has like these three different styles in there. I always grab these, and I honestly have saved some from the past too, because they actually are pretty good quality, um, and they last. And you can just, since they're such a cute design, you don't even have to put wrapping paper. I still put wrapping paper just because there's no better feeling than opening up wrapping paper on Christmas. That's my opinion. But I got these and they're a dollar, so a dollar, so, um, and I got them, so they're only a dollar, and that's a really good deal. Next thing I got was this tissue paper, it's 24 sheets for a dollar, so it's red and green. Um, I always get my tissue paper at the Dollar Tree too, because it's cheaper. Um, you can get like the, they have like the sparkly green one and red one, 
but you get less sheets. So I'd rather just do red and green and call it a day, keep it festive. Um, I will always get my scotch tape at the Dollar Tree. Get it, this is a two pack for a buck. You can never have enough tape when it comes to Christmas time, I swear. You can never have enough tape when it comes to Christmas. I swear I always run out of tape around Christmas time. And I, every time I go to the Dollar Tree, every single time I go to the Dollar Tree, I pick up this two pack of tape. This is something that they have year round, but they have it in like the big containers around Christmas time. Um, and I grab it because like I said, you always run out of tape. You don't want to run out of tape when you're wrapping presents. So stock up on your tape. So next thing I got, I thought it was so cute. I've never seen them actually have this before, but it's the fingertip towels. Um, and I plan on putting this on my half bath over here. Um, I don't really decorate my other bathrooms upstairs just because I like it pretty clean and simple. Um, I usually decorate the whole downstairs and then including my bathroom down here, which is a half bath. And then I'm thinking this year I'm going to put trees, like little trees in the boys' rooms. But other than that, we're not going crazy. Um, we are probably listing our house in December, so we gotta take professional photos, so I don't wanna be too, too much. But anyways, so this is the towel that I got. How beautiful is this, you guys? It says, holiday greetings, and it's the little red truck with the little tree. It's not the best quality. It's definitely a little bit more raggedy, but for a decorative towel, like, to me, like, who really cares? Um, and obviously this is gonna be one that's just hanging in there. And they could just kind of clean their hands off with it, but like, it's not like terrible, but I thought it was just really cute. So next thing I found, I thought it was so cute. It says cookies for Santa and it's a little plate. This is, um, like, what is it called? And this is in glass, so it is plastic and it says cookies for Santa. It's a really cute little size. Um, I don't actually have a Christmas plate for cookies, so I thought this would be fun. Um, this was just like a mason jar with uh, milk, so... This was really cute. So, and I love the buffalo check. They had a lot of buffalo check, which isn't really my style. The thing I found, I thought it was so sweet, is actually a book. It's a Christmas book. Um, and this one's The Sweet Gingerbread Man. And it looks like this. And it's just a little book. And I love it because it's a cardboard book. Um, and, you know, I have little ones and they were pages. So this is like the perfect kind of book. So I'm thinking about putting this in their stocking. Next I found this. It's in their like winter village section. It's like the miniatures. Um, and it's just like little um, white trees and it just looks like this. Um, there's a bigger one and then a smaller one. So I'm actually gonna try using this as a cake topper. Um, I'm doing my little one's cake smash photo shoot. And then he has his birthday. So I'm going to be putting this on his cake and I'm kind of hoping that there's not gonna be too much fallout. I'm probably gonna try like washing the bottom part of it before sticking it inside of the cake. Um, but it's more so just for decoration. I'm not going to be like making him eat it or anything like that, obviously. But I thought it was really cute. I also decorate with this afterwards too, so I thought it was just really cute. But I did buy it for the idea of my son's cake smash, which I'm doing a winter wonderland theme for his cake smash and his birthday. I end up finding these scented sticks so there's six pieces of scented sticks i do a fake tree every year um just because and the reason why is i have dogs and they always drink the water out of the tree and it's not good for them it's not good for the tree so i just don't do real trees anymore and these smell so good i can get like i just had a like i love the smell of pine and those smell so good so i'm so excited to use those and I think they're so cute that they come like this. I've never bought these before, so I wonder how long they'll actually last. I'm thinking about probably putting like one or two sticks at a time, like each week or something, but we'll see how that lasts. Next thing I got was this really cute Happy Holidays wooden sign. I haven't seen these before, but I thought this one was so cute. And it's like pretty thick. Like, look how thick this is. And it's like a solid weight. So I thought it was really cute. Um, it's a little snowman, it's like a snow globe. Um, I just think it's so cute. I love this. A lot of my house just has a lot of like wood. Um, so I thought something with like, oh, I thought something with like this wooden part would kind of like tie into my, with my decor. So next I found this. I thought this was so cute. I love snowmen. Like that's like my favorite thing ever. Um, and it's this little sign and it looks like this. And it's a little snowman. It says, let it snow. And they always come out with like these like plank looking like decor pieces like they have it for Halloween and Thanksgiving and all that stuff so 
just looks like this and I'm thinking about putting it on like a smaller wall um, probably like right next to my pantry that's usually where I hang like these looking things um, so I got this one and I thought it was so cute so the next thing I got was for some Christmas crafts that we're going to be doing it's the red and green paint so this one is in red rover and it looks like this and then this one is in metallic green and it looks like this so they had a bunch of these this year which I never saw this kind last year so they had these um, and I picked them up just to have them and I love washable paint you can never go wrong with grabbing paint at the Dollar Tree especially for crafts and stuff I always love their ornaments like the whole array of ornaments that they had they were nice but nothing that I really like nothing really stood out to me but these I just love them um, and I'm so sad because they actually didn't have my name but they had it for my babies so they had a C for Cameron and they're just like a silver um, ornament it's like a silvery gold um, they're definitely like a cardboard material but I thought they were really cute so I got a C an L and an A and I just thought they were really cute I'm thinking about possibly hanging them on the stockings this year um, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with them or if I'm going to put them on the tree I couldn't find an R, so I don't really want to put them on the stockings if I can't find an R. I keep looking for them, but I just can't find it, so it's all right, but. So, next thing I found was this other really cute sign. Again, it's like that, like, wood-looking thing, like, wood-looking, wood-looking thing, wood-looking sign, and it says, um, let it snow, and it's white and silver, which this right here is spot on to the decor I usually go with, the white, the silver. Um, and like the woodsy so I got this one too I think I'm gonna put it either next to my coffee bar or something like that I'm not sure I love picking up their signs every year they always have the cutest signs and I'm telling you guys like this is pretty like a decent like material like I don't feel like it's like flimsy and it's gonna break on me so I got this sound I thought they were so cute um, I got two of them I got it more so for my son's first birthday um, but again it kind of fits the theme um, so there are these little picture frames and it's like the galvanized tin with a little like clip and then it's like that wood um, frame and these are, do they say the size of these? Two of them and I thought like I may be printing like maybe a Christmas photo of the boys or something like in each one um, and like have a sign with, have it like for decor or maybe kind of make like a decal on a piece of paper and kind of clip it on there or something like that i don't know i did get these for the sole purpose of my son's first birthday party um but i thought it would be really cute decor for christmas but then also kind of like all the time i would decorate this all the time so she said it's like this wood and the silver so that, i thought they were so cute that is all i got at the dollar tree this christmas so far um i plan on actually going again probably this weekend see if i find any more items um i tend to go a couple times around like Christmas time just because I feel like they're constantly putting out new items too um some things I didn't pick up this year were the mugs I've been on the hunt for the snowman mug I cannot find it anywhere I know everyone's been posting about it and I want one so bad and I can't find it but I'm still on the hunt for it and then also I always get them every year but I have so many from the past years is the cookie plastic cookie bins those are so worth buying. If you can find them, buy them. They're so good to have around the holidays. I usually put like my Portuguese biscuits in there or Christmas cookies or whatever the case may be. I love those. I have so many of them. Um, the serving trays too. They had some really cute ones this year. They had a lot in like that Buffalo check as well. I don't need it anymore. I have so many. Um, so I didn't grab any of those this year. But I'm just so happy what I did get. I just got a few items so far. And I will go again and get it and again. But... I'm very excited. I love everything that I got. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Dollar Tree Christmas haul. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out my other videos that I've posted. I did a Walmart Christmas and then an also a Hobby Lobby Christmas haul. So, stay tuned. Um, so, definitely check those videos out. Subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <music>